Using your computer in VR is a fantastic experience and something that I've been doing for a few weeks now. Just the freedom of being able to add virtual displays and increase the size of those displays, move them around wherever you want within that environment is incredibly freeing but the virtual displays are limited to standard resolutions. Well, what if you're somebody that loves the aspect ratio of an ultra wide monitor, but you don't have a physical one that you can use in VR? Well, because we're in VR, we can set up virtual ultra wide monitors. Now, a couple of days ago, I showed you how to do this on a Mac. Today, we're gonna do it on Windows and on Windows, it works very well in meta workrooms as well as immersed. So let's get right into this. So here we are on the Windows desktop, and to do this, it's a little more involved than what I showed you on the Mac. For that, it was just installing an application and creating those virtual displays. On Windows, we have to do a little more work, but this does work for Windows 11 as well as Windows 10. And it's pretty easy to get going thanks to some instructions that I found posted by MicDroid on the Immerse Discord group. And this document was actually written by NaderTots3880. Um, so that shout out to uh, both Mictroid for posting it and NaderTots for making this documentation. It's fantastic and I've used it a couple times. So the first thing we want to do is go out to this GitHub site and get the sample driver. Go to releases and we're going to download the latest release. While that's downloading, we'll go back here and first thing we need to do after downloading that is install scoop. So we need to do this through PowerShell. So we're gonna go ahead and launch PowerShell. Now for this first part, we don't need the administrator version of PowerShell. So I'm just gonna drag this over to the side so we can look at our instructions. And we're just gonna copy this set execution policy command. We're gonna copy that into PowerShell. And then after that, we're just gonna grab this next command, This IRM command and we're gonna paste it in here, execute that. So once that part is done, scoop is installed and we can go on to the next part of the instructions. Now for this next part, we're gonna to have to do this as administrator. So we're gonna exit out of PowerShell and we're gonna go in and run PowerShell again. But this time what we're gonna do is run it as administrator. So now we have PowerShell open as administrator and we're gonna start some of these other commands, but one thing that's missing from these instructions is we have to install uh, git. So we're gonna do scoop install git. All right, so gets installed. If you were to run the scoop bucket add extra, it would have just told you to run the command that I just ran anyway. So uh, just saving you a step there. So. Now that that's installed, let's go ahead and grab this next piece. I'm gonna copy that, paste it in, and then we're just gonna go down the list. We're gonna get scoop bucket, add non-portable, and then we'll get the last scoop command here and paste that in. Okay, at that point we are done with PowerShell, so we can exit out of here, but we are gonna have to extract that download that we downloaded a little bit ago. So we'll go to downloads, we'll extract this IDD sample driver, and we are gonna extract it to this path right here, the C IDD sample driver. So we'll just paste that in. All right, so this is extracted to our C drive now, and inside that folder is an options file. That's what's gonna define the screens that you want. So just as a sample here, they have a uh, file that we can get. So let's open this link. And then we're just gonna download this. So this is just the definition of an option file. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we can see that everything is commented out except for this 5760 by 1440 at 60. Now that's a huge display, and if we try to use that in VR, it's gonna give us some problems. <laughs> so we wanna use something a little bit smaller. So let's go into our downloads directory where we just downloaded that file, and we're just gonna copy this over on top of that options file. We're gonna replace it, and then we wanna go in and edit this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just comment this field here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing here. 
So we're going to comment this line out. And we're going to uncomment 2560 by 1080 right here. Now you can do whatever resolution you want. This is the one that I found works best in these scenarios. So just going to save that. And then we're ready to move on to the next step of the instructions, which is the actual installing the screens. So we're going to go into device manager, just hit your windows key, type in device manager. Now we want to go to display adapters and then we're going to add a new display adapter. So after we hit uh, select display adapters, we're going to go to action and then we're going to add legacy hardware. Hit next, and then we are going to uh, install hardware that I manually select. Hit next. We're going to go to display adapters. Next, and have disk because we want to go out to where we extracted that file and select the sample driver from that uh, from the folder. So we're going to click on browse, and then we're going to go out to this. C IDD sample driver and then select the IDD sample driver and then we're just going to open that and hit OK and hit next. Next again and finish. So then at that point we have our uh, virtual displays installed. We can go into our display manager, just right click on the desktop, go into display settings. So now you can see we have that display number four. This is our new display and it starts out in a disconnected mode. Now I would leave it in that disconnected mode until we go into VR, which we're gonna do in just a second here. And then we're gonna uh, go ahead and extend our desktop to that display. So let's jump into VR. I'm gonna start in Meta Workroom, show you in there, and then we'll jump into Immersed and see what it looks like in there. All right, so here we are in Meta Workrooms and you can see we have our main display on our laptop here and these two blank displays. Now, if we're on a Mac, we could add them using the functionality built into the application, but that functionality isn't available on Windows and it doesn't matter because we're not gonna be doing it that way anyway. So on our desktop, we're just gonna right click and go to display settings. And then we're just gonna go to two or three and turn those on. Now this looks different than what I showed you before because before I had a capture card capturing my screen where I don't have that now, so I have one less display. So let's click on number two. We're gonna extend desktop to this display and it's gonna disconnect us. And then on our uh, computer, we have to click to keep the changes. So I'm just clicking that on the computer and then now we can go ahead and reconnect here. And now that you can see that we have our main display, which is the laptop display, and on the right we have the ultra wide. Now we can grab that ultra wide and we can drag it to the center if we want and have that right in front of us. And then in Windows, we can set that as the primary display. We can use this however we want. It works just like any other display, so Let's just open up the file explorer. And we're just going to drag it over. You know, we can just use this just like we would any other display. So now I'm going to jump over to Immersed and show you what it looks like in there. All right, so here we are in Immersed now. now. This is one of my favorite rooms to work in. And you can see that we have our primary laptop display there and then our virtual over, ultra wide over on this side. And we can leave it in this orientation if we want. We have full control over it, just like we did on uh, workrooms. We can drag applications over to it. We can, you know, pin them to the side if we want and use it uh, split screen. Let's say we want the ultra wide as our primary display. All we have to do in Immersed is just grab it, drag it to the center. It's going to replace those. And then in a second, you'll see that it updates to our primary display. There we go. Saw that little flash and now all our icons are here. So now this is our primary display. And even though that's our internal display, that's our secondary display now. So this works really, really well in Immersed. It actually works well in uh, workrooms. And overall, just working in VR is a great 
very productive experience. You can really get focused in on your work. And like I said, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and it has changed the way I work. I'm getting a lot more done and it's actually a very, very enjoyable experience. Now, I hope you found this video useful. If you like this kind of videos, make sure you subscribe. I'll be putting out a lot more videos. They're going to come pretty quickly on this channel. If you have any ideas for any other future videos, let me know. Or any questions on this video, let me know down in the comment section. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.